Good evening. Wow. Okay, I'm just letting you know right now, this is better than the frickin' Oscars. Way, way better. I mean, come on. I dare Seth MacFarlane to come out and do what she's doing about to drop a baby. You know what I mean? Seriously, I am completely in shock and thrilled. Um, I know all of you right now are going like, why is she here? Seriously, why is she here? I mean, she's pretty and her boobs are big, but seriously, why is she here? Um, um, I am not Greek. Thank you. But I do have a Greek connection, and it's not my yogurt. Although, I will tell you that the Activia Greek is really good. And the whole Greek explosion with yogurt is mind-blowing. And I thank all of the Greek yogurt eaters because it allows me to have the life I live. Thank you so very much right now. But that's not why I'm here. Um, and I'm not here because uh, I am the daughter of famous, wonderful famous actors, Janet Lee and Tony Curtis. And I know that you can applaud for them. Um, uh, Janet Lee is not Greek. Um, Tony Curtis is not Greek, but looks Greek. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is that one of your beloved Greek actors John Stamos, if there was ever a person ever born to play Tony Curtis, John Stamos. Okay, now I have the great honor to present the first award and the one that cannot, represents so many of you, so many of us in the room tonight. The Arts and Culture Award was created for those people involved in the multitude of the non-performance arts, the directors, musical score writers, photographers, filmmakers, and others not in front of the camera or on a stage performing. The nominees for the 2013 Gabby for Arts and Culture are... Alexander Payne is a film director and screenwriter known for the films Election, Sideways, and The Descendants. He has won over 68 awards, including a Golden Globe for his screenplay for About Schmidt and two Oscars for Sideways and The Descendants. George Pelicanos is the author of 18 novels and an award-winning essayist. Pelicanos was a producer, writer, and story editor for the acclaimed HBO dramatic series The Wire. He was a writer and co-producer on the miniseries The Pacific. He is now working as an executive producer and writer on HBO's dramatic series, Treme. Greg Utanis, Emmy Award-winning television director, has directed over 100 hours of television's top shows including House MD, Lost, Heroes, and Grey's Anatomy. Utanis also earned a reputation for his foresight in technology by investing in startups such as Pinterest and Twitter. Currently, he is a showrunner for Alan Ball's show, Banshee, which is airing on Cinemax. Wow, all so talented. But the Gabby tonight goes to Greg Yatanis. Thank you so much. How do you get up here? Oh, there's stairs. I wanted a kiss from Jamie Lee Curtis in Trading Places, so thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, this is a, truly a great honor. Thank you, Greg Pappas and the Greek America Foundation. I um, first of all want to thank my wife, who is my you know my inspiration, um, who is also 17 weeks pregnant right now with our baby girl. My friend Theo Alexander, when I first walked in, said that Alexander the Great wanted to merge the Persian and, uh, and the Greeks, and uh, well, we're, we're off to a good start here. 
And to my two sons, uh, Evangelos and, and Leonidas uh, also, and my surrogate brother, uh, Chris Vass, and the team at Cinemax that uh, produced Banshee, Carrie Antholis, uh, who's here tonight, and Scott Nemus, who, whose guidance and support. We, uh, we're proud of not only the quality of what we're making, but also uh, its success. Um, wow, this is great, and thank you very much tonight. This is, uh, I've had such a complicated relationship with my heritage over the years. Uh, my parents uh, wanted to Americanize us, so I'm a third generation Greek American who uh, doesn't speak Greek, so I fell between two worlds growing up in a very white conservative town of Wellesley, Massachusetts, and looking very ethnic and feeling very different and feeling connected to my heritage but didn't know how it defined me. So to be here tonight to feel that uh, the Greek America Foundation has uh, been a place for me. I'd say the, the two real significant events of my, my life as a Greek American uh, first came when I was 14 going to Ionian Village, um, which is a, a camp in Greece where other Greek Americans could, could go and meet other people like themselves, you know, and, and, you know, and that created bonds and relationships that, that shaped me as a filmmaker and as a storyteller, things that I never forgot, relationships that uh, meant a great deal to me at a very impressionable age. And the second was in the late 90s, meeting Greg Pappas and, the Greek Amer and becoming part of Greek America Foundation. And Greg put a face to my work and you know, introduced uh, other people in my community in the, in, in, uh, the uh, film and television community, which was uh, you know, really very, uh, very important to me as I was coming up and my career was growing and it's been great to carry that relationship now for over 15, uh, 15 years together. So um, thank you very much tonight. This is uh, great. I feel very privileged that my art and my job and my passion are all the same things. Thank you very much. Thank you.